Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into this magnificent world of higher order components or HOCs in React. We will be using TypeScript and please don't skim at the screen if you are not comfortable with it. It is again just JavaScript so I'll keep it very simple and I will tell you the difference whenever it's needed. Okay. So we'll be using TypeScript to make our code type safe and also we'll use Tyrin just to help me quickly add in some styles. Okay. So if you are new to this concept, please don't worry. I'll break it down step by step. So first things first, what is a higher order component? In simple terms, an HOC is a function that takes a component and return a new component. Think of it like a wrapping a present. The gift inside is your component and the wrapping paper is the extra features or functionalities you're adding with the HOC. Simple as that. So HOCs are very super handy. And when you want to reuse some common logic across multiple components without repeating yourself. So imagine you have several components that needs to log some data whenever they are clicked. Instead of adding the login logic to each component, you can create an HOC that does it for you, that keeps your code dry, don't repeat yourself, and easy to manage. But before we dive into the code, let's talk about the project structure and keeping our file organized as it is crucial for maintaining a clean and scalable code base. Okay, so we will go first right here. I will create a component folder. And inside my component folder, I will add a new folder which is called HOCs. And the HOC I will create will go just under there. So for today's demo, I'll be creating a button component and I want to add an HOC that will help me to add effects to my buttons whenever it's needed. Okay. So first things first is that I need to create uh, my component, which is the button itself. Okay. So I'll come right here. I'll call it button. And I'll create my component itself. Okay. And my component basically to be very simple one. I'll just call it button and it will accept a property right here, which is the text. Okay, so this I need to add the type and this you don't need to do it if you're using JavaScript. So I'm just enforcing the type of my components. I'm saying it is a functional component in React and it accepts a property of text with type of string. Okay. Now we'll come right here inside and what I will do, I will just add some styling using Tywin CSS and don't worry about if you don't understand what it does really, it's just for styling purpose. So I'm just adding some paddings on the right and the left and padding on the top and the bottom and the text will be white and the background will be blue and it will have a rounded corners with four pixels on all the corners, okay? And then inside here, I just want to display the text and of course, I'm returning my button. Now, here I defined this button component and I need to create this HOC that I will call it with hover effect, okay? And this HOC, what will do for me, it just, it will add up some hover effect to the buttons whenever I need them, okay? So what I will do, I'll just go inside my HOC, I'll create a new file called with hover effect, okay? Dot TSX, okay? And if you're using JavaScript, it will be GSX, of course. What we'll do, I'll just import, of course, React from React. Okay. And then I will define my HOC. Oops. Go back right there. Define my component. So with hover effect. And the next thing I will do, this is just in TypeScript. Okay. So I need to add a type called P extends object. So basically what I'm saying, oops, it adds something extra for me, which I don't need. So all what I'm saying is that this P generic type will ensure that my HOC can work with any component that I'm passing as a prop. Okay. So if you remember what I said before, your HOC, it takes a component as a property and then return you a new version of it. So I have to enforce this type. 
so it makes sure that my HOC ex accept any type of components. Then my components will accept, as I said, um, a component. I'll call it wrapped, wrapped components. Okay, and that will be of course of type of React dot component. Okay, with that enforce in the component, I should say type, and this is again just TypeScript related. If you're using JavaScript only, you don't have to do it. Oops, it add this extra thing to remove it. So all I'm saying is, so all I'm saying is that my with hover effect will accept this wrapped component as a property and this wrapped component will be of type react component type and this generic type of p okay that's i added right there now this of course will return you back a component so say return and props so whatever props are within the components that i had i'll return them back and I will add now return whatever extra things I want to do. Okay, so my use my HOC, I just want to use it to add some extra effect on my hover. So what I will do, I will just paste this code quickly right here. And obviously I forgot my arrow function. <laughs> okay, so all what we have said here is that I need to fix this too. So all what we're doing here is that we defined our HOC, it accepts a component, and all what I'm doing is that I'm returning my component again, but just wrapped with extra div at the moment. That's I'm adding some animation. So I'm having hover, so I'm scanning it, making it bigger, and then I'm adding the transition transformation that I want. Okay, then I will come right down here. I will say export default. And I'll say with hover effect. Great. Now we created our HOC. Let's go back to our page. And what we'll do, I'll import my button. Import button from component. And then also I will import with hover effect as well. Okay. And what we can do, I'll come right here. And I will define a hover button, okay? Const hover button. And I will say this button will be my button, okay? But it will be wrapped within that HOC I created, okay? So with hover effect. Now I can come inside right here. I will first thing just display my button alone. And then I will display my hover button as well. And you can see it's complaining because um, the type script, so it knows I need to pass a text. I'll just say just simple button. And next one here as well, because even my component is wrapped within an HOC, because I'm using TypeScript enforcing type, it knows as well still that I need to pass the text. So I'll just say text equal enhanced button. Okay. Now what I will do, I'll go back to my UI, 3000, and there you can see. So the first one here you can see I can, I'm hovering, but nothing's happened. And let me make it bigger. Okay, so I'm hovering, nothing's happened. But second one, when I hover, you can see it's scaling up. Okay, so there you have it. We just created this higher component in React using also TypeScript and time in CSS. The HOC are really powerful tools for making your code more reusable and easier to maintain. I hope this example made the concept clear and helped you to see how HOC can be used in your own project. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.